occurrence. We don't often see Battalier Eagles down on the ground and in close proximity to us. They're generally a little bit flighty and will try and get away from where we are. So to have one coming right to the edge of the water and drinking is very special. So hopefully it's going to drink. I think we disturbed it a little bit when we arrived at Treehouse Dam. So it's just we're wondering how it's going to sort of approach the water and making sure that we're not a threat. But look at the beautiful color and detail in those feathers. Like I say, it's not often that we get close enough that we can see all the detail, but you can see those little white edges to it and cream edges and those colors are all going to change later in life. And isn't he going to go drink? I think so. Looks like it. How wonderful is this to see a Battalier Eagle so up close that we can actually then watch it drink. This is not very common at all for us. In fact, in my entire time at Safari Live, this is the first time that I've seen a Battalier Eagle drinking or that we've got on camera. Seb, have you ever filmed one, filmed one drinking? So, no. no, it's not a common thing at all. So it is very cool to see and it's because of how hot it is i was saying just now that it is hot and it feels like the oven doors have been left open and it's about a hundred degrees fahrenheit 98 to be exact and 33 i mean 36 degrees celsius so it is excessively warm out here and there is this warm wind blowing as well and it really does feel quite stifling so if you're a bird of prey with a thick feathery sort of body it must be quite nice to come down and get this cooler water from the edge of Treehouse Dam and you'll be surprised how cool that water actually is even in hot weather like this because it's quite a large body of water it takes some time to warm up and so that water will be nice and refreshing for a very hot bird you'll see every now and then it, that it does actually open its mouth and pant a little bit I want maybe if it's going to be a better idea Seb let's, Seb, let's try, although it's going to be quite far. I was thinking if we go around, we might get a little bit more eye level, and if it drinks, we'll get it head on as it begins to drink, which would be quite cool. There's the odd go-away bird that's also making a bit of noise. Don't chase our Battalier Eagle away, go-away bird. I'll be very upset. And the Battalier Eagle is trying to work out where exactly is best to drink from. You can see it's trying to drink from that smallish section of water that's protected a little bit by mud close towards its sort of feet because it doesn't want to get too deep into that water in case there are crocodiles in pans like this it will know that there can potentially be threats and so that's why it will try and stay away from the water's edge and try and find a little puddle somewhere where that it can drink rather than going into the actual water hole in places where you find these small little puddles they will actually wade right into their to their feathers and their feet will get wet as they then drink because they know that they don't have to worry about predators as much as you can see look at that massive eye a bit of yellowing coming through on the beak so that will be eventually bright bright yellow and a bit of red will also come through as well on the face so it's going to change quite a bit from what it is now but these are the most awesome views of a Battalier Eagle that I've had in a very long time you can see the wind ruffling its feathers a little bit that wind is so welcome as well because it is like I say stiflingly warm so the breeze at least is providing some sort of relief from what's going on oh, I wonder are you going to go forward first come on looks like it wants to drink there we go I always love watching eagles walk they don't have nearly as much grace walking as they do flying and they look a bit awkward when they walk they kind of waddle much like penguins Wendy you say what a stunning bird well Wendy we're being spoiled by being able to see this look there we go you see how they have to open their beak quite wide and scoop the water look there we go how cool is that that's very 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 epic it's not something you're going to see every day I know it's just a bird drinking water, but it is a very cool way to see it drink. These birds of prey with these big beaks, that you see how wide they have to open their mouth just to scoop enough water in to actually quench their thirst. It is quite incredible. There we go. Imagine it would take quite a while to scoop in that much water. Each little beakful is only going to be a few droplets, but it will still help nonetheless and I'm sure we'll see this bird drinking for quite some time before it actually satisfies that thirst and the grey go away birds are not impressed though by the Batelier's approach and that it's here at the water hole they wanted to probably come down and drink and a bird of prey is always a threat even though Batelier's don't hunt birds they still will see 
this large predatory bird and be a bit nervous of it. I wonder if we can get round to the front side of that bird. Should we try, Seb? We're going to just try and see if we can get round to the other side of Treehouse Dam and see if we can get a view of this bird drinking from the front because it'll be so nice to have its beak kind of facing towards us and watch the droplets falling out of its mouth as it drinks. I don't think if it didn't fly away when we came around the corner it should be okay for us to get around and get a little bit more eye level to it. It will definitely make for some compelling viewing that's for sure. Hello Wanderer, you asking how often would a bird like this need to drink every day so you'll find birds need require water every day and these eagles do drink a lot during the middle parts of the day but because we're not really around at those times we very seldom actually see it so it's nice that we've caught this bird drinking as also because of this excessive heat it's not getting moisture from only its prey items remember lions and leopards will also get moisture from prey items and so will the eagles it's particularly battaliers because they will scavenge or fairly fresh carcasses that still have some blood in them so Seb I'm hoping from here is going to be really nice it looks like it's going to stay for us and this is going to be exactly where I want to be because it is the perfect place to see it drinking no, don't go away. No, Egyptian geese, you stay still because the Egyptian geese have just given it a little fright by fluttering across the, the water hole. But there we go. It's not quite as close, but we'll still get that motion of it drinking straight towards us, which will be quite special. So there we go. See? See how it scoops up? Isn't that very cool? I wonder when the last time we saw a bird of prey like this drinking was. Certainly a first for me, like I say, while I've been with Safari Live. I have seen it before, um, but it's not here the lodge and, and well at Safari Live and not definitely not filmed it yet that's for sure it's a pity the light is the wrong side of it but it is a much better angle from here because we can get sort of low and eye level as it goes down and scoops up bits of water you can see it's just watching and checking the Egyptian geese that went across and then it'll start drinking again there we go scooping up a little bit of water that's very cool So you see it's just little droplets little droplets it's much like the cats they don't get a lot in the beak at as you know in a quick time but they have the opportunity to spend quite a bit of time actually drinking so wild heart you want to know how tall these birds can get they'll get to about 70 centimeters as fully grown in terms of their height so 70 centimeters just under a meter tall basically which is quite big so this bird is still a immature it's going into its sort of adult phase of life it's probably fledged recently and has now spent a bit of its time kind of flying around it will still probably be quite close to its natal area so close to the nest it hasn't shown any sign of coloring yet so it won't be a threat to any of the adult birds and be pushed away but it's definitely still got a bit of growing to do so it's not fully grown just yet so it'll get a little bit taller than what it is now but not much you can hear the go away bird alarm calling at it So this is what these hot days bring and why checking the water holes in extremely hot weather like this is such an important thing because you're able to come across weird and wonderful things because it's dry it's hot it's driving animals that would be a little bit more shy and maybe have flown off before we got you to actually stay and drink just out of desperation so you'll find even smaller things like the nocturnal species that will come out even in the day just to try and quench their thirst i remember where the last time i saw a pangolin was in a very similar weather like this it was hot it was dry and it was that pang there was not much water around and the pangolin actually came to drink and was then at the water hole so it, it we were sitting there with a leopard funnily enough and the pangolin arrived but it just shows you that r random things will come out in heat like this because it really does sap the energy from everybody and everybody requires water and so they move into these areas to try and just actually hydrate themselves and stay full of water in these dry conditions but that is wonderful well done Seb much better from here hey, the angle at least you can see there is a bit of a breeze blowing you can see the water is being ruffled up a little bit so that is a saving grace this afternoon although that the w wind does feel quite warm at this stage 
You can see all the feathers ruffling around. But you'll also notice with this battle eagle that it knows that it's somewhat vulnerable when it's drinking. So you'll see it takes a quick sip and then puts its head up and watches and looks around. So you would think that there wouldn't be too many predators of a big bird like this, but things like martial eagles, um, leopards, they would easily take a bird of this size, jackals, if it wasn't watching what's going on. So they have to be aware and they'll constantly look around after drinking, making sure that they're not being caught out and something's not coming from behind or to the sides and about to grab them. I love when the wind blows and blows all those head feathers out. Later in life he will get a big fluffy head and they'll be jet black but you can see look there where they're blowing out like that. It always makes them look a bit chicken like when they have that. I always like it. Right, now our battalier eagle is still quenching its thirst so